amalgam separators. What are they and what are they used for? So I'm gonna show you our mechanical room at our Peru practice here, but really from a high level, the amalgam separator is, and it's now um, part of being regulatory compliant, but uh, for your um, hand pieces to the chairs, for your, for your vacuum, you have to be able to, the city no longer wants to have um, any amount of, um, they're concerned about mercury in the water and, and metals getting into the water. So what your amalgam separator does is it separates out if you have um, an extraction and that tooth has some am amalgam in it, or if you're getting an amalgam restoration replaced, as they're drilling that out and suctioning it, it goes into, um, it gets caught in that vacuum. Well, the, the, the city doesn't want that getting back into the, into the uh, public water system. So they now have mandated that, that dental offices get an amalgam separator so that amalgam gets stored here. Now it is a little bit gross. Um, it's not a sexy part of the industry by any means, but um, I wanna show you guys, for those at home that are curious what an amalgam separator is or, or how it's used or what it even looks like, uh, I'm gonna show you guys what our room looks like. And I just exchanged ours with a brand new one and I'll show you what the old one looks like too. So here we go. All right, so as I flip this around, this is our mechanical room in Peru. There is our compressor, so that gives us all of our power to our hand to our hand pieces, and then that's our big vacuum unit. So, um, and as you can see here, this is the amalgam separator that hooks up to our vacuum, which again, that is allowing for suction. So what that does is, as it goes through all here, anything that's gonna be metal or, he or heavy is gonna to settle to the bottom here, and the clean water is just gonna get sent right through that vacuum. We have to, legally we have to change them out once a year, but with as busy as we are, we change them out multiple times a year. So that's what the new one looks like. Eventually that will fill up with water and you'll already see how it kind of differentiates dirty water with, this, with the um, heavier stuff settling at the bottom. And uh, if you wanna see the unit that we just took off, that's what we put in November. And again, that thing is pretty heavy. And um, again, that is a cocktail that you would not like to have this weekend. So again, I figured you guys would kind of like to see again, just from a high level, what an amalgam separator is and what it's used for. Um, and again, net, I'm positive of it. Cause again, I don't want that in the public water system either. Here at, at Lad Dental Group, we don't do hardly any amalgam, anything anymore, almost all of it's composite. But for patients that come in that have had amalgam in the past, it's still, it's a nice feature to have. So thanks as always guys. Hope you learned something. Comment below with what you want to learn more.